What is up guys, my name is Pocketcraft and welcome back to the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Guide. So in today's episode, we're gonna be making an automatic piglin bartering farm, which is like where you trade with piglins. We did that a couple episodes ago manually, but we're gonna create a system that will allow us to do this automatically, which should be super awesome. It's gonna give us a ton of drops. And so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to find an area to do this. Now you need to be in the nether for this to work because if piglins go into the overworld within like 15 seconds or something like that, they turn into something else and it doesn't work anymore. So they need to be in the nether and you need to have a certain area to do it. So I'm gonna do it in this room right here. You want a room that's covered up so it's safe from mobs. So you could just go dig underground or you could go somewhere out in the overworld there. Make sure you have a room that's seven by eight long then at least five blocks tall with a roof that's a block higher than that. And that should be enough room to fit all of this in here. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have an iron door with buttons on either side. And this design that I'm using was actually used by JC Plays. So credit goes to him and the link to his channel will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get started on how to make this farm. Now I will have the materials list down in the description, just like always. And I'll have to get my redstone chest out of here. And that should probably be enough to start for now. And you'll want to make sure that the blocks are preferably something that are fireproof. So I'm going to use cobblestone just because if you're familiar with this farm, we got cobblestone all over the place. But we're going to make just a simple little redstone clock over here. So do this little space with blocks right here and then break the bottom two just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is you'll need to make a lever. And then you'll need a repeater and some redstone dust. So we'll grab a repeater some redstone dust. You'll also need a redstone torch, excuse me. And so let me get all these up where we can use them. And what we're going to do here is you need to grab your redstone torch, place it right there, grab a lever, put it right there, put a redstone repeater right there, facing like that with the two dots right there. It should turn on Then put some redstone dust right there. And this should create a redstone clock, as you can see like that. And then for now, we'll just turn the redstone clock off so we don't have it doing anything, but we can turn that back on later when we need to use it. All right, next up, we're gonna make the collection system really quickly. And so in some areas, you'll probably wanna make this bigger, put a double chest right here. I would probably wanna make this bigger because this farm works really fast and the double chest will fill up very, very quickly. And so I'm kind of not in the best spot to actually make this, but I want the piglin inside the castle. So I'm gonna do it here, I think it'd be pretty cool. This so might be better around ground level so you can dig lower and add more storage. To add more storage, you just put a hopper under here going into a different chest. You've seen that many times if you've been on my channel. But what we're gonna do now is you need to grab a hopper, crouch, and make sure it's facing into the double chest just like that because that's gonna be our collection system there. Then what you wanna do is come up here, you're gonna crouch and put two blocks on top of the hopper just like that. Then put some glass right here. And then we'll get over here some glass right here and then some glass right here and then you're going to want to come around and you're going to want to break these two blocks and then place a dropper fate oops not right there it's probably easiest if you walk in here on the hopper place a dropper right above you just like that we want it facing down like that because that's going to throw all the gold at our piglins here and this farm can go so quick it's almost like it's a zero tick farm i don't know if it's technically that but it, it seems like it is because of how quick it works. So next up, what you need to do is come in front of the chest here, put a sticky piston right there, and then put either gold ore or just a gold block right here. And so this will eventually connect up to our redstone circuit. And for some reason, whenever a gold ore block or gold block is moved in front of a piglin, it'll barter instantly. So this is what's gonna allow us to barter super quickly with the piglin. And then the next step that you wanna do is come over to here, and then you're gonna put a glass block right here and then a temporary block here and here and then a glass block here and a glass block here then you can get rid of those temporary blocks and then what you need to do is you need to come behind put a dot of redstone here dot of redstone here and then we're gonna have to probably pillar up a little bit because we can't fly and then we're gonna put a dot of redstone there a dot of redstone there and a dot of redstone there now because glass is a transparent block as you can see, it allows the redstone to move right there, which is kind of interesting. It wouldn't do that if these were normal blocks, which allows us to power the dispenser there with our redstone clock. And then you wanna get rid of any of the temporary blocks you use to get up there. So the next step is you're gonna to wanna to put a dot of redstone dust there and a dot of redstone dust there, which should power this, moving that out there, which is perfect. 
And then you need to grab a piece of carpet. Could be any color carpet you want. You need to put a crouch and put it on top of the hopper right there. And this will make sure that the piglin doesn't fall down into the hopper, which would mess up the farm a little bit. And now what we need to do is actually lure a piglin right here. And so that's going to be probably the most difficult part of this. But in all honesty, it's really not too bad. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder for me than it probably will be for you guys. Because you guys will probably be building this on ground level. Whereas I made the somewhat silly decision to build it up here. So what you need to do is... The easiest way to do it probably would be to build a railway coming up here. You could use boats. That would make it a lot more difficult. If a piglin's really far away, you might want to use some boats to get them closer. But other than that, you'll just want to do a rail line system would be the easiest. And so probably put some normal rails right there. You'll probably want a powered rail here. You don't want it to mess with any of the redstone system we got going on, but it should be fine. You could either use levers or redstone torch to power your powered rails. And I got some levers here, so let me put them out just to show you guys how that works. It's pretty simple. You just flick the lever on like that. It'll power the rail. And now I need to go and actually connect this up downstairs below into my little castle area. And so that's going to take me several minutes. So I'm going to connect that up and then show you how you can get a piglin in there. So once you have a railway going into there just like this, I'll show you mine that I've built here. It's going all the way down to here. And then what I did is I actually saw a piglin in here already and I didn't want to lose him. So I trapped him in a boat. And one quick thing that you're probably going to want to do actually just to be safe here is you're going to want to name tag the piglin so that he does not despawn. And this is something you're going to have to do at some point in the farm no matter what. So you might as well do it now. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to make a name tag, I'll show you really quickly. It's a simple process. What you do need is an anvil, which takes a lot of iron. So if you don't have an anvil, you can check out my iron farm. You'll get plenty of iron really quickly, and you won't have an issue with that. But once you have an anvil, and I'm probably going to place that in a more interesting spot, just because this isn't the best spot for an anvil, but I can move it later. So we'll just put it here for now. You go on the anvil, you put in the name tag, you need to put a name of whatever you want to name your piglin. I'm just going to go with Jimmy because that seems like a good name for him. And you click that. It'll cost one level. But now you have a name tag that will say Jimmy or whatever you choose to name it. So I'm going to come over to the piglin now. And I'm going to name him with the name tag. Now he's named Jimmy. And now he will not despawn no matter what. So he should be fine. And then I can put a lead on the boat. And that will allow me to drag him over wherever I need him to be. And so I'm going to drag Jimmy over to here. And now this is a situation where you're you're probably going to want to be wearing gold armor because if you're not wearing gold armor, this could be really dangerous. So I'd put at least one piece of gold armor on. You only need one, just like my little helmet there, and you'll be fine. Then what you're going to want to do is place a minecart here with the rails pretty close to Jimmy or whatever you've named your guy again. Then you'll want to break the boat, which sometimes take a little while. Sometimes they'll just walk into the minecart, otherwise you can push them in. Thing we need to do is just give him a little bit of a push and he should get sent up hopefully and land right where we want him to land let's go look up here perfect we got jimmy where we need him to be so i actually made a mistake that i just corrected off camera but i wanted to explain to you guys so i had originally where he would go to just this block above the piston there but that's not where you want your rail line you need your rail line to go to here and then have two blocks right here and if you do that He's actually going to get shot right into there, which is awesome and perfect. It's exactly what we want. And then you can break this right here. And then you can put a glass block right there. Then you can break this. You can break this block. And then you should be able... Oh, no, I'm going to fall down. Then you probably want to close up the hole in the floor so you don't fall down like that again because that's embarrassing. Um, and then you're going to come up to where he was. And this is the actual part of the tutorial. Sorry about that. You'll want to put a block right here just to be safe and then you're going to want to break the mine cart right there like that and then you can put a glass block right there and then just break all the temporary blocks that you put in for your rail system like that and jimmy or whatever you've decided to name him will be nice and safe in his containment center quick little interchange i just realized this is one of the first times we've actually talked about name tags if you don't know how to get a name tag or really you can find them in chests and stuff but the easiest way to get them is if you just get a librarian villager to its master level, you can trade emeralds for uh, name tags. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a villager trading 
video that I can show up here and an easy way to get emeralds video. I can show both those. You can check those out if you need that. And then another thing you can also do is you could lock this hopper right here, which to do that, you just put a lever on it and then turn it on. You could break this bottom block, throw a piece of armor at the piglin. He'll put the armor on and that way he also won't despawn. And then you'll just want to replace all the blocks, get rid of the hop, make sure the hopper is unlocked, get rid of the torch, not the torch, the lever so that still works. But now we're almost done. I'll just show you the last couple steps. You want to fill this dropper up with as much gold as you want. Now, the more gold you put in, the more you'll be able to trade with it and the longer be able to use it. So I would suggest filling it up. Now, if you don't know how to get gold or if you need more gold, easiest way to do it, just check out my automatic gold farm. You'll get an insane amount of gold really fast. That's how I got all this. And I have several more stacks that I could use. And so the final step, now this is pretty much ready. All we got to do is come over here, click this right here. This slows down the clock a little bit, which will make it a little bit easier to trade with him. Because if you don't do that, you're going to lose a fair amount of gold. It'll just go back into the chest here so you can put it up top. So it's no big deal. But this allows us to lose a little bit less just because the piglin isn't super fast. And now to finish the farm, all you have to do is just click the lever and let's see if it works. So he throws down gold. He's going to start trading. And as you can see, he's throwing down all the bartering goods. And they're coming into the chest here. And we're just getting filled up with all sorts of loot. And I'll get rid of these two right here because we already have those. But now this is just going to start filling up with stuff. And I'll sit here in AFK for maybe like 10 minutes. And then I'll bring you guys back and show you how much stuff we get. And also, as you can see, the stuff is piling up here. Don't worry, that's not an issue at all. It's just because the piglin's moving a little bit too fast for the hopper. But if you just were to turn off the farm, it'll all start coming down in plenty of time and you won't have any of issues. It'll just take a little bit longer. So don't worry about that. All right, so you're probably wondering why there's no longer a farm here. And that's because it was way too efficient for this area right here. So I had to move the farm to somewhere where I could expand more storage because literally within like 30 seconds, I know I said I was gonna go five minutes, but within like 30 seconds, and it almost filled up the entire double chest. It had enough to fill up this shulker box and about half of my inventory. So I'm taking this to go transfer it down to where the other farm is. And I left the real farm running while I was going to do that, which is probably not a good idea because it's probably gonna be an insane amount of loot just like jammed there in that little container with them. So let's go see how Jimmy's doing. I moved him down here by the storage area because I figured down here we can handle a lot more. And as you can see, look at that, it's like overflowing. So we're gonna turn that off. I was not going for very long. And if we come down here and look, we already have an entire chest full. We're going into our second chest and I'll start throwing in some of this stuff that I took with me from the other one. And I'll put in all the other stuff from the other shulker box too. But if you look at all the stuff right there, oh my gosh, this farm is honestly, I think I'm just gonna say it. This is probably hands down the most productive farm in all of Minecraft. You can get so many different types of blocks, building blocks, potions, everything. I mean, you could even use this as like a bottle farm with all the potions it gives you. Just take out those. It gives you armor. It gives you fire charges, which is awesome. We can use those to make our tank if you haven't seen that short yet. It gives you enchanted books, which you could just use as a book farm. Look at all the blackstone. Look how much blackstone there is. I was thinking about making it something out of blackstone. We could run this for five minutes, have enough blackstone for an entire build. This is insane. And all the quartz we get as well. This has got to be probably the best farmer. And look at all this leather. Holy crap. We have over a stack of leather. Two stacks of leather because there's a stack in here pretty much. This is this is insane. I'm just going to say it. This has got to be the best farm in Minecraft. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than usual. I know. I'm sorry. I got some stuff going on in real life. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in that next video.